Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Special Projects custom build for you today, and this time it's not a replica of a real vehicle, it's actually a, as I said, custom build for a Tommy Kyra ZZS JGTC style racing machine. Now, as far as I'm aware, there is no Tommy Kyra ZZS GT300 car or GT500 car, but... It does have the perfect rival, the ASL or Autobax Garaya. So, what I've done with this tune is made essentially a GT300 spec machine. It's not completely accurate, unfortunately, due to the weight. It's not quite as heavy as it should be. But we've got the weight increase to make it more challenging for the driver, more close to a GT300 spec machine. And also we're running power, which is in between the Subaru GT300 machine and the RE Amamiya RX-7 GT3 machine. So it sits pretty well as far as power. It sits at smack dab 500 pp. So overall, visually, there's not that much to do to this car. It is kind of a semi-premium. It's got a pretty decent look to the car, but it doesn't have the detailed interior. Now, all I've done to it visually is, of course, fitted a custom wing, which, being a replica, you can go for whatever style you want. I've painted it chrome orange, which you can get from McLaren MP412C, and given it these 12-spoke uh, white rims. And that's pretty much it, visually. So we'll go straight over to the mechanical tuning garage for the setup of the car, which is, in this case, the most important thing, and then, of course, take it out to the track to see how it performs. Now, with this being, as it is, a fictional build, it's not, of course, a replica of a real machine, I imagine it as being kind of a team-up between Tommy Kyra and Autobax, or ASL, which has actually happened. We have the Tommy Kyra ZZ2, which is also known as the ASL RS01. So, basically, this is, as I mentioned, a GT300 spec machine. I've gone for racing soft tyres. For the brakes, I've increased the rear balance to 6. You don't have to do that, though. For the suspension, we've got the ride height as low as possible. Springs have increased to 815 and 875. The damper's up to 5, anti-roll to 6. Camber on 3 with neutral toe. We'll come back to the gearbox. For the diff, you want the lowest initial torque, highest acceleration, and a braking sensitivity of 10. And as with many of my racing builds, I would encourage you to play around with the braking to find what works best for you. We do have an oil change on this one. We've got the Stage 3 engine tune, sports computer, race exhaust, race manifold, sports cat, and the high RPM turbo. Not the intake, though. And we've reduced the power down to 96.6%. Maximum downforce, which unfortunately isn't that much, of course, with a custom wing. You want to leave your weight standard, because as we said, it's still far too light for a GT300 machine. So to make up for that, we've increased it with a 200 kilo ballast, which I've put 5% 5 to, 5 towards the rear of the car, just to give it more of like an LMP kind of weight split, a little bit more weight over the rear, which is advantageous for a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car. And then coming back to the gearbox... You want an auto setting of 180, then for the individual gears we've got 3.1, 2075, 1525, 1175, 950, 800, and a final drive of 3.5. So there it is, your 500pp GT300 style build for the Tommy Kyra ZZS. So now let's finally take it out to the track to see if it can actually cut it as a race car. Now, overall, of course, many people who buy GT300 machines do tune them, so very few of them will actually be running the same spec as this car. But for lobbies who do have their car's spec around actual GT300 specs, say around 300 to 340-ish horsepower, like the Subaru BRZ, like the RE MMI RX-7, etc., then this car is already set up for that level. It sits at 500 pp, which is only 5 pp lower than the RX-7 GT300 car, so it's pretty well placed, I would say. It's slightly higher than some of the others, like the Sea West Sylvia. So overall, it's spec-wise a pretty convincing GT300 machine. 
As far as it actually performs, the ZZS is not as standard the easiest of cars to drive. It's a little bit trickier than, say, the Lotus Elise or the Vauxhall VX220. But with this particular tune, I have to say, I'm really impressed by how well the car performs. The brakes are superb. Even with the ballast, it still handles its weight and handles itself very, very well. The performance is very good. Top end, not so strong, but that goes for a lot of GT300 models. The acceleration is more than adequate, and it's very quick, most importantly, around the track. It's also a lot of fun to drive. So, if you decide to use this slightly alternative and oddball build for a GT300 Tomikaira, then of course I hope you find it fun and potentially competitive if you ever get the chance to use it in racing. So, if you'd like to keep up with new tunes and custom builds like this as soon as they're released, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for watching.